With the growing popularity of GPS and digital navigation systems like this one, a whole lot more people are heading into the bush, safe in the knowledge that they will never get lost. Four-wheel drive tag-along tour companies are also seeing much less popularity as people have a newfound confidence of travelling into remote areas. But is that confidence actually warranted? Let's have a chat to Rob from HEMA to find out. So Rob, what are the pitfalls of relying purely on digital maps? It's really got no backup plan. It's like watching a set of tail lights in the rain and uh, following someone to a party and then all of a sudden you lose them and you have no idea where you are. So if you, if you use your digital device to uh, constantly show you where you are or, or how to get somewhere, but you also make some notes on a paper map, then um, you've got that backup plan if the, if the batteries go or you drop the thing in the, in the drink or you, your fuse blows or you break your screen or whatever happens. Um, you know, in an outback area you really need a reliable um, navigation tool and the only 100% reliable navigation tool is still a map. So in terms of perspective, I suppose the paper map really has some advantages. Yeah, that's right. You get the bigger picture. Everyone loves to pull the map out on the bonnet and get the overview of the landscape and look at three or four different options of how they might go. And you can look at the, the easy option or the hard option all in one go. And you can have a whole bunch of people just you know, sharing ideas and kicking things around uh, before you decide on a route. So yeah, the bigger picture is what it's all about with a, with a map. So in terms of safety, what would you recommend, paper or digital? I reckon both are best, Pat. Um, if you're a proficient map reader, then you can get a lot of information out of a map, whether it's contours or campsites or you know, where a lonely hut is. Uh, but a lot of people need help with that, with the GPS. That gives them that, shows them where they are, helps them know where to go with confidence. Um, but still need that paper map in case the batteries go flat and the whole thing goes pear-shaped. You can always walk with your paper map through the bush for a long, long time. Good stuff, Rob. Thanks, mate. No worries, Pat.